let's talk about one of the most important aspects of maize farming that you should probably know if you want to make a difference. You can't succeed in maize farming business today if you don't know about effective weed and pest control techniques. The four lamy worm is your greatest enemy in maize farming business. This pest can cost you a loss of more than 50% in your business. In fact, research has found that four lamy worm in Nigeria has reduced the yield of maize by over 40%. Four lamy worm is a polyphagous and highly mobile migratory insect pest that was first detected in West Africa in early 2016. And since its introduction, this insect has significantly impacted livelihoods of small-scale farmers across the African peninsula. You can actually plant like 20 acres of land in Nigeria and get just half of it at the end because of these devils. It is possible to control them but very expensive. Here is how you do it. After four weeks of germination, start visiting your farm frequently and look for signs of infestation. Here are some of the signs you should look for. Number one, a white matter on the leaves. That's their eggs. Number two, you should look for pinholes or window pane leaf damage. This is caused by small caterpillars feeding on the leaves. And also, you should look for droppings. That's a big red flag. If you find this on your farm, most of the times it's already been infested too much now during scouting focus on the newest two or three leaves emerging from the funnel as this is where caterpillars like to feed and where moths lay eggs once you see a few plants infested there are three classes of pesticides that are proving to be very effective against fall lamyworm and the first group is phenocytes this class of insecticide work by disrupting the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors of the insect nervous system this mechanism of action makes this class of insecticide very selective in destroying the target insects and leaving the beneficial predators. This is very helpful as it doesn't kill all the microorganisms in the soil as part of the target insects. Spinocytes does not destroy only mature insects but also their larvae and eggs. Some examples of this class of insecticide are Entrust and Success New. We also have the Imamectin benzoids. It works by penetrating the leaf tissue and forming reservoir within treated leaves which provides residual activity against pests that ingest the plant substance when feeding. Examples of imamectin benzoids you can use to control fall lamy worm are Affirm and Proclaim. The last class of insecticide I personally find effective against fall lamy worm is the Chlorantranilipro group. Chlorantranilipro binds to a specific receptor in the muscles called the ryanodine receptor. When the chemical binds to this receptor, it causes muscle cells to leak calcium. The muscles stop working normally, the insect is paralyzed and dies. Some examples of this group are Altacol and Coragen. Once you have your insecticide figured out, spray your farm at least once in three weeks depending on the particular insecticide you get. This is essential because fall lamyworm is very persistent and migrates so quickly from farm to farm. For instance, if you treat your farm and there is a nearby farm that is infested, well expect to see your farm infested again as soon as the chemical loses its power. And this is why you need to keep treating your farm until the plant starts to silk. At this stage, if your farm isn't heavily infested, the plant will be healthy until you harvest, even without additional treatments. Maize takes about 12 to 16 weeks to reach maturity. Hence, you may need to spray the farm at least three times in three weeks interval, depending on how persistent your farm gets infested. Note that I am unable to recommend any dosage of any of the chemicals since I do not know what specific agrochemical you will get. I advise that you use it as prescribed by the chemist at the shop you buy it. Now with weed control, if your farm can be weeded manually, that's the perfect solution as you would not need to worry about the effect of herbicides on your farm. However, if that is not possible in your case depending on the size of your farm, you may still have options like post-emergence herbicides. The last thing you would want to do is sow your seeds let it germinate and ignore it to stay in the bushes. Corn hates weeds as it suppresses its growth and health. Weeds in your farm will also bring in several pets to make sure that your hard work is ruined. So weigh your options. If labor cost for weeding will be too much in your situation, consider using a pre-emergence herbicide on the piece of land before sowing your seeds to prevent germinated weed seedlings from becoming established. Also consider using post-emergence herbicides to control weeds in your farm after they have already emerged from the soil. There are post-emergence herbicides specifically made for maize and other narrow-leaved crops designed to target and destroy both grasses and broadleaf weeds, leaving all narrow-leaved plants healthy. Some examples of these herbicides are Nico Gold, Amine Spray, and Mason.